，谢谢，请继续提问。中区第三排的这位女士，中间那位女士，对，这这位。王外长您好，我是香港凤凰卫视和凤凰网的记者。过去一年，中国的外交不断的在推出一些新的理念和新的举措，让人非常明显的能够感受到中国外交的风格正在转变。所以，作为外长呢，您是怎样解读的？谢谢。Hong Kong's Phoenix TV and its website. Over the past year, China has unveiled some new ideas and measures in its diplomacy, and it's quite clear that there is a shift. In China's diplomatic style, what is your perspective on this as China's foreign minister? This is a very good question. This year, the international community has been focusing on the development of China's relationship with the outside world. As you can see, the Chinese president has been working with the Chinese Communist Party to advance the development of China's outside world diplomacy. 呃，保持我们外交政策连续性、稳定性的基础上，相继提出了一系列重大的新的理念和举措。This is a very good question. In recent years, the international community is generally interested in how a growing China will handle its relations with the outside world. And as you have seen, the CPC Central Committee, headed by General Secretary Xi Jinping, is committed. To innovation in both diplomatic theory and practice, and on the basis of maintaining policy continuity and stability, the new Chinese leadership has unveiled a series of new and major diplomatic ideas and steps. 比如，构建新型大国关系，就是要打破大国之间往往冲突、对抗这一历史宿命，要走出一条合作共赢、惠及各方的。当代的新路，我想，这体现了我们处理大国关系的新思维，也体现了中国对国际社会的责任和担当。For example, we proposed to build a new model of major country relations. This is to break the historical pattern of conflict and confrontation between major countries, and to find a new path in the modern era that seeks win-win cooperation. And delivers benefits to all parties. I think this shows a new approach on the part of China to handling major country relations. It also shows China's sense of responsibility for the international community. 再比如提出亲诚惠融的周边外交理念，就是为了进一步展示中国对邻国的诚意和善意，愿意同周边国家一道。打造命运共同体，这是中国周边睦邻政策的新发展，也展现了中国开放和包容的胸襟。And let me give you another example. We have proposed the guideline for our neighborhood diplomacy, featuring amity, sincerity, mutual benefit, and inclusiveness. This is to further demonstrate China's sincerity and goodwill towards its neighbors, and our readiness to work with them to build a community of common destiny. This is a new advancement of China's policy towards its neighbors, and shows that China is more open and accommodative. 再比如，要树立正确的利益观，就是要在同发展中国家打交道的时候，要坚持道义。为先，更好的重视和照顾他们的需求，这传承了我们中国对外交往的优秀的品格，也是社会主义制度的本质的属性，已经成为中国外交的一面重要的旗帜。Another example is that we have proposed a more balanced approach to upholding principles and pursuing interests. It is to put moral principles first when we deal with fellow developing countries, and be more sensitive to their needs. This keeps the fine character of China's external engagement, reflects the inherent nature of the socialist system, and this has become an important banner of China's diplomacy. These new ideas and measures, like the message of the world, 
中国不仅自己要走和平发展道路，也希望其他国家共同走和平发展道路。中国梦不仅是中国人民的，也与世界人民的梦想紧密相连、休戚相关。These new diplomatic ideas and measures send the following message to the world. China is committed to a path of peaceful development, and we hope other countries will also take the path of peaceful development. The Chinese dream belongs to the Chinese people, and it is closely related to the dreams of other nations, as our interests are all intertwined. <laughs>